Welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to talk about partial variation. The question we have here reads, two variables P and L are such that P varies partly as L and partly as the square root of L. Given that L is 16 when P is 500 and L is 25 when P is 800, determine the relationship between P and L, hence find P when L is 36. So the first thing, we are told that P and L are such that P varies as L and also as the square root of L. So we'll have that information here. P varies as L and P varies as the square root of L. This symbol here is read as varies as. So we are going to write a single equation with the whole of this information. Remember, we are going to consider this information here. We are told that P varies partly as L and partly as the square root of L. Because of the word partly, we are able to tell this is partial variation. And for that reason, we are going to add. So we'll have P is equal to. Now on the right hand side, we are going to have these two parts here. So for the first part, we are going to introduce the coefficient of L here, that is KL. And then because it's partial variation, we add. And then the next term, we are going to introduce a coefficient of the square root of L, and that is M, so that we have M root L. We can call this equation one. So in the equation, we are told, given that L is 16 when P is 500, so we'll have in this equation 1, P is 500 when L is 16, so that we have 16K plus M root 16. And the second part, we are told, L is 25 when P is 800, and therefore we'll have P is 800 and L is 25, therefore we have 25K plus M root 25. These two equations simplify as the first one you have 16K plus 4M is equal to 500. That is root 16 is 4, so that we have 4M. So let's call this equation 2. Next, we'll have 25K plus 5M, 5M is root 25m and root 25 is 5 and then we equate it to 800 here and we can call this equation 3. Now solving by elimination method we'll have to multiply equation 2 by 5, 5 there is coefficient of m here in the third equation and then the third equation we'll have to multiply by the coefficient of m here, which is 4. And that gives us 80k plus 20m is equal to 2500 for the first equation. That is 5 times 16k is 80k. 5 times 4m is 20m. And 5 times 500 is 2500. And then for the third equation, we have 4 times 25k. That gives us 100k. 4 times 5m. 20m and 4 times 800 is 3200. Now, subtracting, we'll have 80k minus 100k, that should give us negative 20k, and 2500 minus 3200 should give us negative 700. Dividing both sides by negative 20, we'll have k as 35. So if k is 35, we can substitute this in equation 2 so that we have 16k and k is 35 plus 4m is 500. And 16 by 35, that is 560. So we have 560 plus 4m is equal to 500. Now taking 560 to the right hand side, we'll have m is equal to 500 minus 560 is negative 60 and then we divide both sides by 4 so that we have m 
as negative 15. Next, given that we now know the value of k and m, we can rewrite equation 1. Equation 1 will therefore become p is equal to 35L minus 15 root L. Remember, 35 here is k and negative 15 here is m. And therefore, this is the relationship between P and L. Just as we've been told, determine the relationship between P and L. And then lastly, we are going to find P when L is 36. So using this equation, when L is 36, so we say P is equal to 35 times L and L is 36 minus 15 root L, L again is 36. So this simplifies to 1260, that is for 35 times 36, minus 15 times 6, root 36 is 6, and that is 90. And finally, we have our answer as 1170. And that marks the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.